in an attempt to provide a clearer view of our weekly pay, um, Lyft is removing some information from each ride breakdown and instead giving us a more detailed weekly summary. Is this a good thing? So Lyft is now providing more detailed weekly summaries for drivers, which is a good thing. But in the process, they're removing information from each ride breakdown. So you're gonna lose, you're not gonna be able to see what the passenger pays for each ride anymore or what Lyft is receiving for each ride. But instead, you'll see this information summarized on your weekly summary. So you'll see the ride payments, you'll see the fees, you'll see all that information summarized. And here's what the new weekly summary looks like. So on the left side here, page one, you'll see your driving totals, you'll see how many rides you've given, how many booked miles you have, uh, your booked time and your online time. And your booked time is the total time you spend giving rides from the acceptance of a ride to the drop off. So you can see this driver was online for about 35 hours and of those 35 hours they were booked for about 26 and a half of them. You also see a breakdown of your earnings. So you see ride earnings tips. Um, this driver had commercial insurance credits. You see bonuses here. You see cancel earnings and you'll also see the ride challenge bonus. At the bottom you'll see deductions. So you'll see that this driver chose express pay and they incurred fees of $3.50. And then on the right side here, page two, you'll see the passenger payments. So you'll see ride payments, which is the gross amount passengers paid for the rides that you gave, including all tips, expenses, and fees. You'll also see the platform expense, service expense, any donations, any third-party fees and taxes, and you'll also see tips over here as well. So this is great to get this information summarized now weekly on our weekly summaries, but in the process, removing that information from each ride breakdown is not good. Like, the more information, the better. And it shows that Lyft isn't trying to hide something. Give us as much information as possible. Don't take information away. And I get it, Lyft is doing this so that drivers don't look at that ride breakdown sometimes and see these ridiculous takes that Lyft has where they're taking 50, 60, 70% of the ride. Instead, they're summarizing this information in the weekly breakdown. But again, I personally want all that information and I want it for each ride. And it shows me that Lyft is being transparent. So this is a step forward as far as weekly summaries are concerned, but overall a step backward because they're removing information. And I think what Lyft and Uber for that matter need to learn is you can't give us something and then take it away. This is called loss aversion and it leads to a lot of dissatisfaction. Like we've seen both companies give drivers six destination filters and then drop it to two. We've also seen them give certain rates to drivers and then cut those rates. And both companies need to understand about these certain tests that they're running on drivers. They're running these tests and in the process, they're messing with our livelihoods. The biggest thing that Uber and Lyft need to remember is the more information, the better. It shows transparency. And also think about these things when you're giving us something and then you're gonna take it away. Like with Uber and their destination filters, I remember I think they, they gave six destination filters and then shortly right thereafter, they removed it and, and went back to two. That's not a good thing. Think about these things before you give them to us and then take them away. But overall, what do you guys think of these new weekly summaries from Lyft? Um, do you prefer to have the information summarized weekly and aren't as worried about the per ride information? Uh, leave a comment below and let us know. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe and drive safe. Thanks.